Hi, welcome to Albom Translation Services. This is Sandra Albom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign your interpreters once your Zoom meeting has started. In the first video, I showed you how to invite them when you were setting up your meeting. Now we're going to get started. So, first things first, let's sign in to our Zoom account. And start our meeting. This is the meeting that I had set up, just so you can see my fake meeting. At the very bottom, interpretation is enabled, and Ellie is our fake interpreter. She's actually one of our account managers. One quick note, um, you have to configure interpretation before you start your meeting. If you do not do that, then you will not be able to use interpretation. It's not something that you can configure once your meeting has started. So please make sure that you've done it before you actually click to start your meetings. So here's our fake meeting. We're going to start it. All right, here we are. Here we are. Hi, everybody. I'm Sandra. And uh, this is the screen. And I am the host of the meeting. And I know I'm the host because I started the meeting, but also because I can see the interpretation globe down here only the host of the meeting is able to see the interpretation globe. Co-hosts can't see it. No one can see it in the beginning, only the host. So um, the host has to do the configuration, or we can help you do that if you assign us hosting privileges during our tech check. So as you can see, Ellie is in our waiting room, our interpreter, and we are going to admit her. Wait for her to show up. Here she comes. There she is. Hi, Ellie. This is Ellie, Hi. our account manager and uh, our fake interpreter for the day. And so she has arrived and uh, we want to go ahead and assign her to her channel. And assigning her to a channel is basically like saying, sending her off to the Spanish room. She's our Spanish interpreter. She's going to be in the Spanish room on the Spanish channel. And anyone who wants to listen to her will go to the Spanish channel to listen to her. So the host is going to click on the interpretation globe down here and we'll get this screen. Sometimes it'll pop in a name, sometimes you'll see asterisks with not joined, don't worry. If you see the asterisks, just delete them out. And then you can either use the drop down or search for your interpreter by name and find them. Make sure that the language combination is correct. And if you need to add any more interpreters, you can add them here as you'd like. Um, and when you click start, it's going to send Ellie off to the Spanish channel. And once she's there, you can't hear her on the main channel. So um, we will talk, to, I'll, she'll be able to hear us, but we can't hear her. So I will say something to her and you'll see her lips moving, but you won't hear her. So I'm going to click start. And when I do, she'll get a pop up. And so will we, that shows that language interpretation is available. Now everyone in the meeting will see a globe at the bottom of their screen, not just the host. And Ellie is over in the Spanish channel. She can hear me, but we can't hear her. So, hi, Ellie, say something. See, she's talking and we can't hear a word she's saying because she's over on the Spanish channel. How do we hear her? Well, so when your attendees come in and they want to listen to interpretation, they would click on the globe and select the channel that they want to listen in. So we're going to go to Spanish. And now we're able to hear her. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hear you loud and clear. So this is our interpretation channel. And when the meeting is going on, Ellie would be doing simultaneous interpretation. And we are listening to her here on the Spanish channel. We highly recommend that everyone choose a channel, no matter if they're listening to foreign language or they're listening to English. Uh, when they join the meeting, that you in indicate that interpretation is available, but that everyone should select a channel, whether it's English or the language, the other language that, they, uh, that you're offering or languages that you are offering. That way, we can do a two-way interpretation if everybody's sitting on a language channel. So that is uh, really important. And we also suggest that you speak at a moderate speed and uh, make sure that your audio is good. If the interpreters can't hear or understand you or you're speaking way too quickly, they are not going to be able to keep up. So those are some suggestions on good interpretation practices. And that is all uh, that we all that we need to do. So uh, we are good to go. And uh, I think that's it. So thank you for joining us on this video. And we hope you have a very successful interpretation in your Zoom meeting. Thanks.